weekends are a bit like several of our days put into one for our sport loving fans. Several tough matches, top level competitions, various sporting disciplines that have been spread across. It can get a bit confusing, but no more because of our new show, Warm Up. What would you do with over £200,000? You can't imagine, right? That is what your favorite footballer Cristiano Ronaldo earns per week. Now, let me show you this. That is one of the world's most expensive, a Cognizant CCXR Trivetta, Floyd Mayweather. He cruises into his gym with this. Now, would you like a tour to the Baby Jet Mansion? The Basilica is what it's called. Your Saturday mornings just got better. Join me, Thierry Nyan, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on TV3 and 3FM for more juicy information on your sports personalities and what they'll be doing when they're not kicking for fame and glory. But let's look at more stories. And five deaths and 31 injuries have been recorded in 1,455 fire outbreaks between January and March this year. Domestic fires topped the list with 522 outbreaks. To curb this trend, the Ghana National Fire Service will from June this year inspect every home for fire certificates. Out of the 1,455 fire outbreaks recorded between January and March, 23 were industrial, 170 vehicular and 37 institutional fires. 140 electrical fire outbreaks were recorded, commercial 196 and bushfires 285. 368 of the fire outbreaks were put out upon arrival of the Ghana National Fire Service. 558 structures were partially burnt, while 509 structures were totally destroyed. The amendment of the Fire Precaution Premises Regulation LI 1724-2003 to LI 2249 now makes it mandatory for every home to have a fire certificate. Come in June, uh, firemen will definitely depend on people's home. So it is an obligation. The good news is that uh, we are partnering with uh, a public company. They will come in to supply the facilities like extinguishers and early detection and warning system for free. The public relations officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Prince Billy Anaglati, advised vehicle owners to desist from parking in the yard of fuel filling stations. At the time that you are kicking the car, there is current passing through all the, the wires. If there is any loose contact, there will be a, a spark. That is enough for that vehicle to set fire at the police station. And the Ghana National Fire Service has debunked news publications which claims management has embezzled funds meant for the training of national youth employment personnel. The leadership explains the money is still in the account only to be used when the training commences. An Accra newspaper published a news item which reported the Ghana National Fire Service has embezzled two million cities meant for training while also owing suppliers. But the management of the service say the paper did not seek any clarification from them. In 2016, the Ghana National Fire Service signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Youth Employment to train 2,000 civilians for later employment as fire safety assistants for three weeks. The recruits were divided into four batches to be trained four weeks each, subsequently making the training period 12 weeks in total. The management of the service also explains suppliers were paid one week after every supply out of the 3,000 cities fund for the NYEA training. The NYEA also provided about 239,000 cities for the renovation of the training facilities and not 2 million cities. As the report stated, according to the service management, the NYEA contacted the service again for a capacity building training of the recruits and paid about 89,000 cities into the commandant account to be used for the training. This amount, the management explains, is still in the account since training was fixed for a later date because of an ongoing training for GNFS 
personnel. The newspaper also reported the GNFS has also embezzled 1.2 million cities funding from the National Insurance Commission, but the public relations officer DO1 Prince Billy Anaglati said the money was 100,000 cities for the training of fire personnel. The Observer News story uh, is neither here nor there. It is just a concocted story uh, that seeks to um, tarnish the image, the hard-won image of the Ghana, uh, the Ghana National Fire Service. Uh, we are willing, with all the documents that anybody wants to clarify, to come in, uh, we would subject all those documents to the people to clarify themselves before uh, going to press. The training of the fire service personnel will be over by May, after which the NYEA training will commence.